the judge, the jury, and the executioner, Judge Dredd, the legend of the British comic book. Wes Hall, everybody, and welcome to yet another unscripted review video. Oh, yes, indeed, my dear friends. If you've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that I just like to ramble about things. Who has the time to script videos and then edit them? No, but seriously, I have been focusing for some time now on reviewing the good stuff, the wholesome stuff, although I don't know if we can use the word wholesome in this particular case. Nevertheless, in the midst of all the bad entertainment uh, that coming from the publishing industry and uh, the movie-making industry of 2023, it is only a very good idea to go back and rediscover, revisit something that uh, you know is good and you know that you can rely on. And today we are going to venture to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and visit, in my eyes, one of the top five it has deserved its place in the top five comic book characters of all time. We are talking about Judge Dredd. Oh, yes, indeed. Created by John Wagner and Carlos Esquera. A character who appeared in the 2000 AD magazine for the first time in 1977. I think it was in the second issue. And then in uh, the 1990, it uh, got its own title, the Judge Red Magazine, I, I, if I believe. I mean, if I'm correct. And uh, who doesn't know Judge Dredd? Um, a character from a, a, a post-apocalyptic dystopian society set in the United States of America, where the civilization had to, uh, well, move into those huge mega cities consisted of uh, mega blocks. Uh, awesome, uh, gigantic, gargantuan agglomerations of people in these futuristic... Um, I mean, huge complexes and um, buildings where the ruling, well, not, not the ruling class, but the ruling group is this fascistic, fascist um, police force called the judges, who are the judges, the jury and the executioners. And the rules and uh, the laws there are very, very, very strict. And uh, the... The most legendary of all of them is, of course, Judge Dredd, a character who is very well known for his uh, grin and his uh, helmet that he never takes off. Now, that character has spawned thousands of uh, progs as uh, the individual issues of uh, 2000 AD are called, and also some adaptations as far as uh, films and video games, but also, I think, board games and all kinds of different uh, medium. And uh, I am now going to focus on one of my favorite stories, and uh, that's the, the Doug Judges saga. Now, uh, the collection in question has come out quite recently. It is a recolored collection that was uh, published uh, by both 2000 and IDW, and uh, it consists of uh, the stories called Judge Death, Judge Death Lives, and Four Dark Judges. Um, written by John Wagner, who at the time wrote under the uh, pen name John Howard, and uh, also by Alan Grant, and illustrated by Brian Bolland in the case of The Judge Death and The Judge Death Lives, and also um, illustrated by Brett Ewins and Cliff Robinson, and uh, Robin Smith, and uh, colors were done by uh, Charlie Kirchhoff and by um, Tom Frame. There was the letters. He was the letterer. Now, who is Judge Death? It's probably one of the main or one of the 
uh, most known and famous antagonists in uh, the Judge Dread law. He is a monster from uh, an alternative reality, from a different dimension. Basically, a twisted judge uh, who's... Uh, well, world has been, let's say, mm, annihilated or the the inhabitants of his world were annihilated by him as well as his uh, brothers at arms, Judge Fire, Judge Mortis and uh, Judge, now I'm blanking on the name of the fourth one, but it will come to me before the end of this video. And so... Uh, they have uh, come to the conclusion that uh, all life, I mean, all crime is done by the living, by the living people. Thus, life itself is a crime. And that is why they have decided to annihilate all life from existence. And uh, so that happens that uh, those four judges... Uh, got to the reality of Judge Dredd and they uh, started annihilating the inhabitants of Mega City 1. And who else? Who else than Judge Dredd and um, Judge, or Sai Judge Anderson uh, are the ones to, well, rise against them and fight them? Oh yes, I, I just remembered. It was Fire, Death, Mortis... And fear. So those are the four judges. And so this entire collection deals with uh, Judge Death possessing uh, the body of uh, Sai Judge Anderson. The Sai judges are really um, people who have got uh, telepathic abilities and they can, uh, you know, like see glimpses into the future and they can uh, momentarily for a short period of time enter the minds of different people and even recently deceased bodies and uh, yeah so basically like little uh, Charles Xavier Professor X like characters and so Judge Death and uh, the other dark judges are using Judge Anderson to uh, get into the dimension and, uh, you know, just rule over it. I will not go very much into depth as far as spoilers go because I don't want, uh, you know, to spoil it for you uh, should you wish to uh, check it out for yourselves. But uh, what I especially appreciate is uh, a couple of things, actually. Firstly, is the format of uh, this British uh, prog magazine. Because unlike the American uh, comic book or the, like, uh, uh, European comics from the continent or the continental uh, comics, um, they are of a much shorter uh, span. Now, if I'm... If I believe, I mean, if I'm wrong, uh, 2080 comes out weekly, which means that uh, those stories have to be written and drawn quickly. And there are multiple stories in each and every single of these uh, issues or progs so that the all the uh, stories in these individual uh, progs are about what, like at most eight pages long, ten pages long. And so sometimes three or four or five. And so sometimes you've got one story uh, that is being uh, divided into four or five different progs. So let's say that, uh, you know, a month has like four weeks. So for an entire story to get finished, you need to buy every issue in, in that month. And that means uh, that uh, the the pace of those stories is very quick, very swift, very action-packed, unlike the 22, 24 or more pages in an American issue or an entire graphic novel uh, or bande dessinée written in uh, the continental Europe. So I do appreciate and love this uh, approach, this style and this pacing. It's something different, uh, very much different from anything that you know. It's also very British. And uh, the British uh, mentality and British humor is something that is very close to my heart and I have always appreciated it much more than, uh, you know, the American one or, you know, from any other place. But also, 
And that is something that can never be overstated, is the art of Brian Belland. If you're a fan of, let's say, Batman the Killing Joke, you know what Brian Bolland's art is about. It is legendary. And if you don't like Judge Dredd, just buy this for the art of Brian Bolland. Now, man, I only wish I had uh, the original uh, non-recolored issues so that I could enjoy the art even more. I might even look for like an artist edition, just you know, black and white, because the uh, the coloring is beautiful, is very good. The colorist who recolored it did a very good job. But I just you know I would like to see it uh, like pure virgin, just the art. But uh, today you can have and you can get many uh, like artist black and white editions like, you know, in, in no time and for very little money. So, I mean, I do recommend any, any uh, 1970s, 80s, 90s story about Judge Dredd and especially the Dark Judges saga. So let me know in the comments down below what you think if you've read it, if you were a fan of Judge Dredd. Or if you are going to, well, you know, buy this after my recommendation. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm Maria.